What's up guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com and in this Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial we're going to be going over the standard desaturated uh, vivid landscape preset. And we're going to show you guys how to create it, kind of what it works well with uh, and it's going to be really similar to kind of the standard color vivid landscape preset except you just want to apply this to images that you think would look great with kind of that more desaturated look. We're also going to show you guys a trick in how to create uh, new mixology recipes very quickly by basing them on previous mixology presets. Alright guys, so let's get started. We have the previous image here and we're just going to show you guys a few examples of uh, where I would use this preset. Now if we compare it to the standard color, you'll see that the des desaturated look just has well, exactly that, just a desaturated look to that image. But it still has this, essentially the same uh, kind of detail enhancing settings as the standard color vivid landscape. So let's see what would work well with. I probably wouldn't apply it to that image in particular, but I think it would look cool with images that kind of have more of an old school feel to them. I think it might actually be, oh, yeah, it is already applied to this one. So for this image, this kind of has a more old school kind of Victorian feel with the architecture and with kind of the muted colors in the sky, and it would look really nice with this preset. Now what I might do from here is just bump up my base adjustment by one half to uh, brighten it up a little bit, but that looks really cool right there. Let's go on and find some other images that we might use this with. So for landscapes, or sorry, not for landscapes, but for environmental portraits, I also like using this preset for stuff like this. And we actually use the standard color uh, preset on this image as well. And you'll find that both are going to look really cool. We have the standard color, which really makes all the colors pop. And then because we have so much green in this image, uh, and the, the color tones are very uniform, the standard desaturated would also look really good too. So if we apply that, we have this nice desaturated tone to it. We can go down and we can apply uh, a color tone, or we can just go and adjust our temperature up uh, either way. But we have a nice look to that after we apply this desaturated look. So let's go and see what else we have. Let's scroll down a little bit. Um, a lot of these images it work really, really well with. I kind of like uh, that desaturated look for kind of the, the manly man type shots, which is like this kind of a shot. So we'll do a standard desaturated on this, and it's also a little bit underexposed, so let's bring up the exposure a bit. And we get kind of a really cool, uh, you know, just kind of the guys, guys, you know, the boys type shot with that standard desaturated look has a really nice uh, kind of feel to it. Let's go back and let's see what else there is. I think it also will work really well in this image where we have kind of these nice, really powerful colors in the background just to kind of mute the overall tones and kind of create a nice vivid look to the image. So let's apply it. Let's see what we get. Let's go into the My Mixology, standard desaturated. And that looks pretty cool. What I might do is just bump up the exposure a little bit. And if you think that it's a little bit too rough on their skin tones, you can always do a little bit of retouching or just pull down the, contra uh, the clarity a little bit. Um, and we can do that by just lightening it up. So if I just light, do a light soften versus the light boost, you'll see a big difference in the uh, clarity. But that looks fine the way it is. Let's go on and do one more. Let's see. A lot of these would really work well. Let's go find... This one will work really well too, but we've already kind of seen an example of that. So let's keep going down. What else do we got? Let's pick this uh, hill image actually right here. This would look really cool as a black and white. I think it also look great as just a desaturated uh, image as well. So we can go standard desaturated, oh, standard desaturated vivid landscape. There we go. And then I might brighten it up a little bit. I kind of like that darker tone on it, but I might take it up like I say a half a stop. And again, we have a kind of a really cool look. We can modify the uh, temperature and everything just by clicking over here and modifying it, pulling it up just a little bit. So we have kind of a nice, warm, desaturated look to our image. All right, guys, so let's show you how simple this preset is to create. Now, what I'd recommend is if you guys have presets that are just modifications of other presets, then just start with those other presets. Let's go find an example image we want to use for this uh, tutorial. So let's actually pick, you know what, let's pick this one. So what we're going to do is go here into our presets. We're jumping in the develop module by hitting D. We're going to jump into my mixology. And because this is primarily based on the standard color vivid landscape preset, we're going to start with that. And this already has the standard import, already has everything basically applied to it. And all we're going to do from here, guys, is just desaturate it. So all we got to do is go down to our base adjustments, go down to saturation, and we're going to do a light, actually let's do a medium desaturation on this image. And there you go. You have the standard desaturation vivid landscape version of the image done right there with basically two clicks because we based it on a previous mixology. So basically anytime you guys are making these new mixology recipes, look at the previous ones that you have. If you have a recipe that's pretty much exactly what you want, but maybe you want to just change the, the look of a curve or the color scheme, then 
select that previous mixology, change this color scheme, and save it out as a new mixology recipe. Now for this image, I might just pull down the exposure just a bit to darken it up a little bit. Uh, if we want to make any fine-tuning tweaks to like temperature and stuff like that, we can do that here. I'm going to warm it up just a tiny bit. But we get a really cool looking image uh, from that desaturated, vivid look. By the way, hopefully all of you guys have already updated to 1.1, so this is the standard desaturated preset which is already saved out for you. But just in case, one more time we'll review. Go over here to our new develop presets after you've dialed these settings in. Make sure we deselect white balance. Um, also set your exposure to zero because we're basing it on a properly exposed image. Deselect lens profile corrections, transformer chromatic aberration. Save it into the My Mixology folder as the name that you like. And that's it guys. Alright guys, great job. We already have this saved and it's good to go. So we'll see you guys with the next video.